Hi, I'm Cookie, and I knew you would come. I dreamt it. Can't play without a name. Federal regulations. God bless you. And today's wrong answer of the game is brought to you by... Cookie Masterson's Closet. Featuring random items from a sad and meaningless life. Find the wrong answer associated with our sponsor to get yourself some sweet prizes and bonus cash. <laughs> Okie doke, this is really happening. Get ready, time to crash it. Run! First up, let's get shark tanked. What would not go into a Mark Cuban Cuban sandwich? A million dollars worth of ham, a million dollars worth of Swiss cheese, a million dollars worth of sauerkraut, or a million dollars worth of mustard. A Cuban sandwich includes, among other things, ham, Swiss cheese, and mustard, but not sauerkraut. Honestly though, I prefer a Donald Trump sandwich. It's similar to a Cuban, except it's topped with a giant mess of onion strings. Try this on for size. The rich and the horse powerful. Not counting umpires, how would you describe a game of regulation polo in terms of total horsepower? 8 horsepower, 10 horsepower, 16 horsepower, or 110 horsepower? A regulation polo team has four players, each riding a horse. When both teams are on the field, that's eight total horses, or in terms of horsepower, 8 HP. I think every sport should be played while riding horses. Basketball on horseback, tennis on horseback, horse racing on horseback. That's where a jockey is riding a horse that is riding another horse. Dance with me, Disco 3. Take a good look at Jumpin' Jack Hash. And this dis or dat is open 24 hours. I'm going to read off seven things, and for each one, I want you to tell me if it's a way to order your hash browns at the restaurant chain Waffle House, or a song by the Rolling Stones. If it's Waffle House hash browns, press the left arrow. If it's the Rolling Stones, press the right arrow. All right, let's get started. Smothered. Covered. Shattered. All the way. Happy. Country. Brown sugar. You got some satisfaction. The Rolling Stones only ever order their hash browns one way, with extra hash. Open wide for It Takes Tattoo to Tango. It's the put the choices into order, then buzz in and see if you are right. Question. And as usual, give me a correct answer and I'll reward you with an extra thousand dollars. Put these tattoos in order of where they appear on the person's body from highest to lowest. Mike Tyson's Maori tattoo, Justin Bieber's Jesus figure tattoo, Lizbeth Salander's dragon tattoo. Mike Tyson, Justin Bieber, Lizbeth Salander, Justin Bieber, Lizbeth Salander, Mike Tyson, Mike Tyson, Lizbeth Salander, Justin Bieber, or Lizbeth Salander, Justin Bieber, Mike Tyson. <laughs> Mike Tyson's Maori tattoo is on his face, Lizbeth Salander's dragon tattoo is across her back, and Justin Bieber's tattoo of the figure of Jesus is on his calf. That earned you an extra grand. I've thought about getting a tattoo, but my doctor recommends I let several of my other infections heal first. May I introduce... Coral doesn't count. Which island is still holding its V card? Nerdy Cyprus, Geeky St. Thomas, Dweeby Trinidad, or Sweaty New Guinea? Having your V card is a way of saying you're a virgin. None of the other islands here are part of the U.S. or British Virgin Islands, but St. Thomas is a U.S. Virgin Island. At least you know it doesn't have any STDs, which is a lot more than I can say for the Caymans. 
That about does it for round one. And you're sitting pretty for someone so ugly. Remember, in round two, every question is worth double. And remember, the wrong answer of the game is still there for the taking. Okay, let's see what's next. How about... You're Heston, my patience. If instead of a planet of the apes, Charlton Heston crash-landed on a planet of the apiaries, what might you hear him exclaim while being taken prisoner? Get your stinking feathers off me, you damn dirty parrot! Get your stinking claws off me, you damn dirty grizzly bear! Get your stinking tentacles off me, you damn dirty squid! Or get your stinking mandibles off me, you damn dirty bee! Time's almost up! An apiary is a place where colonies of bees are kept for the production of honey. Yes, little known fact, honey is not actually made by bears. Stupid lying bear-shaped honey containers. You gotta be careful when gathering that honey though, because bees don't just give it up. You have to pry it from their cold dead mandibles. Question 7! Up next, better homes and graveyards. Suppose the killer from Edgar Allan Poe's The Telltale Heart appeared on an episode of HGTV's House Hunters. Considering where he hid the body of his victim, what feature would he look for in a house? Lots of extra closet space, an indoor fire pit, a big spacious attic, or easily removable floorboards. Next time, try this. The killer in the telltale heart hit his victim's body under the floorboards, so he'd want to be able to remove those things without too much hassle. Personally though, I think he should have gone with that two-bedroom colonial with the granite kitchen countertops. Sure, there's not a lot of space for hiding murdered bodies, but the neighborhood has such great schools. You're alone in the dark here. But you won't be alone for much longer because you've just won... A girlfriend mop from my closet. Come out of the closet with a hot babe. Today's wrong answer of the game gets you another 8,000 on top of your current score. Sweet. Follow me down to the sea. Oh, Next up, bring the champagne. What do an NFL football game and a wine bottle have in common? They both have cork, they both have a tackle, they both have a sack, or they both have a punt. In American football, one team can kick the ball to the other via a punt, which is also the name of the large indentation on the bottom of a wine bottle. And if you're a fan of football, you simply must go to California. It's home to some of the most verdant football fields in the world. This one's called Kiss the Cookie. I'm really excited because today I get to test my brand new Fortune Cookie Opener 3000. I ordered it from the Sky Mall catalog. I just started up and, uh. Wow! This thing works like a dream! I gotta be more careful. I almost cut my fortune up. <clears throat> Try not to let things get under your skin. Alright, so then what skin condition should I make sure not to contract? Eczema, psoriasis, rosacea, or scabies? Scabies is a skin condition caused by tiny mites that burrow under your skin. I definitely don't want that. I've got enough trouble with this mouse that somehow got trapped under my skin. <laughs> oh, I hate it when he runs up my back. Pucker up for... A gibberish question? How would I spell this question backwards? Straw cab sith noit sook leps I do a wa straw cab noit sick sit lems I do a wa straw cab noit suak sith leps I do a wa or very carefully. Yep, that's the question spelled backwards. 
I always find it so folksy and funny when somebody says, you've got a bass backwards instead of bass backwards. Uh, I mean, I mean bass backwards. <sighs> no, I mean bass backwards. Ah, oh, are you kidding me? Now I can't say it right. Bass backwards. Okay. Ass backwards. Thank you. Welcome to the attack. When you see two clues that match, press your A button. 2,000 if you're right, but you lose 2,000 if you're wrong. And don't forget, remember the clue. It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. A probing film. You directed aliens in what movie? Good luck. the game! Giving direction to aliens on set is hard, trust me. I'm doing a staged adaptation of Predator, and the alien lead has been difficult to work with. No, 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 no! You're just saying the lines, Predator! I need you to feel them! You don't know! 